International Human Rights Watch Dogs, Amnesty International has called on the federal government to show stronger resolve in locating victims of enforced disappearance across the country. Representatives of the group make this known in Abuja as they mark the International Day of Victims of Enforced Disappearance. They say there is an urgent need to set up a national register for victims to make it easier to investigate these cases and help reunite them with their families where possible. In, in Borno State alone, uh, in the Northeast, we have uh, partner organizations that have recorded uh, 23,000 missing people. And some of them as far back as nine years. So it's really a very big problem. And if we want to establish peace and uh, end this conflict, we have to start would making sure that all these issues are addressed, all these problems are resolved so that we can be able to uh, move forward. There is no way we can have peace without making sure that all those people that have been missing are found and reunited with their families. We are calling on the Nigerian government to establish a register and that register should provide the beginning for justice for these families and there should be accountability if these people are alive where were they why were they arrested why were they held for more than one year for more than five years some for 14 years why these are all illegitimate things and these have to be addressed we have to make sure that our country is run based on the rule of law and justice. I'm here to talk on the disappearance of my parents, if the Kalista and if the Sunday, that were abducted by the DSS on 23rd November of 2021. They invaded our house early morning of that day, around 3 to 4 a.m. in the morning. So they were there to, with a tracker. We don't actually know what they came for, but they say that they came with information. So they were there, they arrested my mom, said they found something in her phone, and then they asked my dad to come with. And since that day, we never saw them till today. So it's from their uniform and where, what they came with that we knew they were with DSS. And after that, we went to their station in Enugu, and they denied keeping them there. It was the human rights organization that we met. There was this lady that went to their office and confirmed that they were there. The next time we went there, they said they were taken to Abuja. And now, my family members who have been to Abuja to know where they are, they say they are no longer here, that they are in Kainji State, Niger State. Since then, we've been making efforts to find out if they are alive or not, and where they have kept them, but to now have been, nothing is happening. Some of the first men we have met, some said that they will lose their job if they have to interfere with the case. This is a day declared for victims of such incidences. And I, being the representative of the family, we are here to raise our voice to the agony and the condition we are in as a family. For four years, our brother had been uh, you know, abducted in his, from his home. He left behind his wife and two daughters. His parents were there up till the point that his mother died while he, while he is still in detention. So that is why I'm here at least to voice out our own concern and call to the authority to do the needful as far as the situation of this poor gentleman is concerned. When terrorists kidnap their victims, they will reach out to the family and you negotiate with them to get your loved ones out. Or you report to the security agencies for them to and possibly rescue your loved ones. That one is known. But when people are kidnapped for their opinion or political position, then it becomes worrying because you won't know where they're kept. A Drista Diata from Kanda State was abducted in the last four years and all efforts have been made to press his whereabouts. He was not with the security agencies and he was nowhere. And what was surprising to many of us is that 
such a prominent young man, you ought to have seen a serious response from the side of the government. The administrative government was silent, silent on the disappearance of the Adyata. The administrative House of Assembly was silent on the disappearance of the Adyata. Elected senators from Kaduna said all the three of them were silent on the disappearance of the Adyata. Sixteen members of the House of Representatives from Kaduna said were silent on the disappearance of the Adyata. The security agencies all refused to issue a statement or tell the general public this is where the Adyata is. And it appears also people are even afraid of discussing this matter. But for those of us, we believe that the only way to prevent or stop the continuity of this disappearance is to continue to speak up.